Hello, it's Paul here from Keys Letting Centre and today we're going to take a look around a property called Stanion Lodge which is just outside of um, town centre in Ulverston. So before we go in, this is a, this is a really interesting building. Um, before we go in, I'll just give you a little bit of context. Um, so you've probably seen already that it's quite an unusual looking property. Um, it was built around 1860. It was built by or for the, uh, the manager of the Furnace Railway uh, at the time. So um, some of you might have noticed this here, this tower, which is quite an unusual addition to the house. So that tower was put in, um, obviously upon the, uh, the owner's request. Um, and the idea was that he'd sit up there and make sure that his trains are running on time. So from that tower, you can see um, the, the railway line running across towards the bay. Um, obviously from the flat which is here, flat one we're looking at today which is on the ground floor there, can't really see the sea, but if you imagine this was all one building at one time, um, yeah, the, uh, the, the first owner would sit up there um, and just check that his trains were running on time. Uh, so yeah, this is sort of 1860 that the whole thing was built. Um, around the 70s it was turned into flats, and then flat one used to be the main reception for the house. And then as we go inside, we'll, we'll sort of point out as well that the, um, the bathroom and two of the bedrooms were one other area, one large area, which was supposedly a ballroom or like a music room. Um, yeah, lots of history in this, in this building, absolutely fantastic. And then the location, we're just next to Ford Park which you can probably see, perhaps not. It's basically just in front of the camera there. Got a nice open park. It's old. And these gardens are maintained. And then you've got parking for the five flats here. So everybody's got one space. Just point out with flat one, I know there are five garages there, but flat one doesn't come with a garage. Uh, it's retained for the landlord's use. Anyway, there we go, let's have a look inside. So this is the main living room for, for flat one. It's a really impressive bay window. Nice piano there. Which I think is gonna have to stay, unfortunately. It can be rehoused. It's a nice feature of the room. So yeah, this is a huge room. You've got space there for dining table. Fireplace. This is... Um, Bit of a sort of a sitting area. Really nice tall ceilings. And you're looking out over the front garden. and obviously the kitchen, white goods provided. There's a washing machine, it's a dishwasher. And obviously right here, there's a fridge freezer. And you've got this small table here, just a bit of a breakfast table. So this is your entrance hallway here, as you come into the flat. I'm told that this uh, wall here used to be a fireplace, 
Um, as we walked into the flat from the outside, um, you can see the front of the fireplace, it was like a, a double fireplace, so this was the other side of it at one time. Obviously it's bricked up now, doesn't work. Nice bit of history. And actually before I go into the bathroom, you can maybe see that um, this, this entire area here to the left of me and down to the end there used to be one big, big room. This was, yeah, supposedly the ballroom at one time. But even so, it makes for a decent sized two bedroom flat. So yeah, this is the bathroom. Two decent sized bedrooms. Uh, I think the first one I showed you then is possibly just a little bit bigger. There's more storage space obviously with all that, with all that uh, cupboard space. But there's still a fair amount of space in here. This is easily another double bedroom. And then both of these bedrooms, like the living room, look out over onto the front garden. All right, so there you go. That was Stanion Lodge, flat one. Um, hope you found that useful. Um, don't forget you can follow us on Facebook and we've got a YouTube channel where we upload all of our new uh, property tours and some local information as well. Um, and uh, if you've got any questions about this property, you can either comment below uh, or drop us a line, give us a call or, or, uh, or email us uh, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Cheers.